Hurry, last time down the slide. Oh, she's going down the big one, guys. She's going down the big one. Give it a kiss for good luck. <laughs> Day of school. Hey, wake up. Wake up. Hey, sleepyhead. Wake up. Sun's out. You gotta get up. It's your, it's your sister's last day of school. It's your last day of school. It's your last day of school. It's your last day ever of school. Are you excited? You gonna miss your last day? You have to say goodbye to all your friends and all your and your teachers. You don't care. You just want to sleep. What do you want to do? You want to sleep or go to school? What do you want to do? I think you might have a little party on your last day. <laughs> Hugs on the last day for Peyton. Have a good day, Liv. Love you. All right. Now it's time for Peyton to go to her very last day of school. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah, and tomorrow she's actually doing a special program, so that will be fun. But now it's school time. Very last day. Oh, it's your first day of pre kinder. Are you excited? It's gonna be so crazy. That's <laughs> supposed to be so fun. I can't believe you're getting so old. You need to stop growing up. Yes, you do. And you do too. Stop growing up. You're gonna be so you're gonna try and miss your birthday this year? Okay, good. That sounds good for us. That means you um, aren't gonna have a party, though. Is that okay with you? No. Okay, so you can't miss we your can birthday. We have then. a party, but I'm not gonna get any older. That sounds good to me. What do you think, Tal? Does that sound good to you? We are packing up, getting everything ready for the first day of school. Give her a big kissy. Oh, see you, see you after school, because you're going to. <laughs> have a good first day, P Livy. I love you. Love you. Give me a high five. First day of first grade, have a great day. I stopped at Starbucks, of course, as you can see here. But I also got a drink for my grandma because I am headed, I'm actually here right now, I'm gonna walk in, but I can't vlog and walk at the same time because I have too many things to carry. I'm here to see my grandma and spend some time with her. We're gonna play some cards, I'll vlog a little bit of that. My mom's gonna come in a little while um, and hang out with us too, so it's gonna be super, um, fun to just spend some time with her. So I don't know if you guys remember, but my grandpa passed away um, a little over a year ago, and I think it was really hard for my grandma, like, going, like, the year anniversary of him passing away. Um, and she just seemed kind of, like, down and, you know, like, having a hard time. Um, she's 90, so she's just kind of lonely, I think, and so I kind of wanted to make it more of an effort to like come and visit her and spend time with her and the, I came actually last week um, and hung out with her for a while and it was a lot of fun and we were laughing and just having a good time so I decided to come back again this week and I'm super excited. Okay so I am in here playing cards with my grandma. Say hi grandma. <laughs> she is counting up her cards and she literally just killed me, you guys. I don't know if you know how to play hand and foot, which is what we're playing, but look at that second score that I squared off, right there. 240 points, and I'm pretty sure she's got about, her score is over here, 2,010 points. She literally got me so bad on that hand. If you guys don't know how to play hand and foot, you should learn because it's really fun. Uh, my grandma actually taught me. How old was I when you taught me how to play hand and foot? Oh gosh, you were little. We used to play a game called Nickels, and that we, I learned like really little. And then we got a little bit more complicated with hand and foot, but it's a really fun game. And yeah, I don't know how I'm coming back from that hand because <laughs> I got killed. My mom has now joined us, and we are playing our hand. And right now, we are super close, me and my mom. 
It's Five really points. confusing. You guys would have no idea what it means looking at that score sheet. But you're winning. I'm in the lead, like total overall. So Five. we'll see how this ends. This is our last hand. Five points. Five, well, 105 now, because I just got the deal. Oh. <laughs> Two hours later. I'm the champion. <laughs> 55-65 to 4715 to Great Grandma 4115. Mm, it was a good game, and actually we ended up being pretty close because we were all kind of like over, all over the place in our scores. Like, So the way it works is you play four hands, and then whoever wins, like all four hands wins the total amount. Anyways, it's kind of confusing to explain. But if you get a chance, look up hand and foot, learn how to play it, because it's really fun, right? Like <laughs> Where is she? I found you. There she is, Miss America. How was your last day of school? <gasps> oh, it's not your last day of school. How <laughs> I sad. tricked her. It isn't your last day of school. How many days do you have left? Let's see. What's today? Tuesday. Seven and a half. Like, seven and a half. What? So I thought you only had six. Day, you said six. Yeah, I was pretty wow. sure she was wrong, but Man. we're going up. Whoa! Now, okay? It is windy over so here. The last day I have a half day. Oh, that's cool. But one of your days, the mom was saying Two that like the days are like fun days, like yeah, that doesn't really count as school. So maybe yeah, she was technically maybe. right. You have like a whole water park day and everything. No, that's only kinder. That's kinder. It's called field day now. They have like. Is it with water? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Well, it is um, that time of the day where we pick up the kids from school, but this time it is going to be very, very different because it is the last time we are picking up Peyton from school because she is literally done. How was it? Was it fun? You didn't miss your class? Yeah. You want to bring some toys home with us? Tell the school. <laughs> She's also got some goodies. Oh, oh, can't see you guys. There you are. Ready to go on summer break? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Ooh, I want to see. Beautiful. We want to see. Look how good she is at color. I love the rainbow petals. That's a good idea. gotten so much better. Thanks, babe. Hurry, last time down the slide. Oh, she's going down the big one, guys. She's going down the big one. Give it a kiss for good luck. <laughs> Liv was done with this slide a few years ago, but she's back now, too. You guys, I'm going to miss my teacher and my friends, and I'm going to miss my favorite stuff. I learned, I learned my ABCs. I learned that God loves me. I, I draw better. I do lots of stuff I learned. Even learned how to spell my name. P-E-Y-T-O-N. School is over and I'm excited for summer. I like summer. In summer. What is the best way to end your last day of school? Where'd she go? With a popsicle! Is it good? Mm -hmm. All right, so we decided since it's kind of warm outside warm. in like the warm. sun that we should have popsicles because that's like a really good after school snack. What's your favorite after school snack? Mm. Popsicles. Popsicles too? I'd say my favorite after school, after work snack is like... Starbucks. Starbucks. That is, yes, 100% true. Let me know what your guys' favorite snacks are in the comments because uh, maybe we can try some of them. Eight to nine, Wilbur planned to take a nap outdoors in the sun. From nine to 11, he planned to dig a hole or trench and possibly find something good to eat buried in the dirt. From 11 to 12, he planned to stand still and watch flies on the boards, watch bees in the clover, and watch swallows in the air. I mean, come on, you guys. How cute is it to see Natalia reading a Charlotte's Web book, which, I mean, if you guys have, like, ever read Charlotte's Web or seen the movies or whatever, it is, like, it's like an iconic thing, I think. So it's cute that we're able to pass something down that, like, our parents shared with us or, um, you know, 
know, grandparents or whatever share with us. And she's able to pass it down to her kids, and I think that's so cute. They're having a good time. They always, if you guys don't know, they always read a story, and Ty always prays with the girls um, before bed, and it is just like a cute tradition that um, we like to do, and now we're sharing it with you guys. So let me know in the comments, what is your like nighttime tradition? Do you guys do anything? Do your parents do anything if you guys are kids? Do they do anything that they always do, like something every night? And if you're a parent, what is something that you do traditionally um, that maybe you've passed on to you um, from, you know, that you've passed on, that you caught from your parents or whatever, but something that you guys do? Let me know in the comments below. But let's go back in there now that they are almost done reading the story, and let's go in the vlog and do some shout outs. It's time for shout outs! All you have to do to get shout out is click the bell and let us know in the comments. And our first shout out is Jessica. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, see you guys tomorrow.